Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75254, the ATST Raider. The set came out in the year 2019, comes with 540 pieces, 4 new figures, and retailed for $50. This is a set that came out to go along with the Mandalorian TV show. I believe it is Mandalorian Season 1, so let's take a closer look. So here's a first look at the set. As you can see, the walker is right here, and it is basically just a recolored version of an ATST. As you can see, there's a red leg back there, and there's a brown one right here. And in the front, you can see there's four different minifigures. There's some Raider minifigures, a Cara Dune minifigure, and a Mandalorian minifigure. Let's check out the walker's play features. First off, the walker does include a bunch of different weapons you can move. You can move around these front cannons right here. You can move the side cannon up and down. There's also some cannons on the other side. There's two of them that you can move up and down as well. They aren't the sturdiest connection, like sometimes they'll come off. There is also some spring-loaded shooters that you can see from the front here that they're peeking out right there. And the way you launch these is you just press these things back here, and then they go launching off. It is a pretty cool function, and they are integrated really nicely. Like, you don't really see them. You can only just see the slots right there. So I really do appreciate the inclusion of spring-loaded shooters in this case. The set also does feature some posability, although it is limited. You can move the legs slightly. It doesn't really stay up, but you can kind of pretend it's moving. And there is a swivel in its head, which is really nice, so you can kind of have it move and blast at different places. This works really well, to be honest, and it is pretty stable when you turn it, so that's probably my favorite movement feature of the set. And you also are able to control this by turning this thing in the back, and then it can go even faster. I think that's a super cool function. I think it's been on other ATSDs, but I think it works really well here. The set also does include an interior. There's two different ways to get at it. My favorite way is just to lift the top, but something you can do is you can also lift this. This doesn't really give you a very good access at the interior, but it is very accurate to what you see in the show and the movies with the top opening and a minifigure poking out or a character poking out. But anyway, inside of the walker, there isn't that much going on really. There's just a cockpit area with a sticker for a control panel, and there is a weapon back there. You can place a minifigure in there, and it is this weird connection that they use. It's like this piece goes in between their legs and it holds them in there. It is pretty nice because it's pretty easy to get them out of there. Although I do really do not like this cockpit design with all like the green and the yellow peeking through. I feel like Lego could use some better colors to represent that, although it is kind of patched together. But yeah, the cockpit isn't my favorite. Actually, a cool redeeming quality about the cockpit is you can actually stick a minifigure connected to this handle right here. And then they'll just kind of poke out and then you can lower the lid. So it kind of looks like they're peeking out of the walker. And I did this with Chewbacca on my Endor mock video and it looks super cool, so I really do like the function of this walker. Taking a look at minifigures, the first one in this set and the main one is the Mandalorian, and he looks really cool. He has some really nice printing on him. As you can see, he is in his older armor right now, which is super cool. I definitely prefer his newer armor, but I feel like he is in his newer armor more often in sets, so this is kind of an exclusive thing. Not sure if it's exclusive to this set, but you definitely don't get it as often. As you can see, he comes with a pretty cool blaster rifle to the side there, which has a brown lightsaber hilt on it. Underneath the helmet, it is just a black headpiece, and that wasn't a problem when the set released because they hadn't really shown his head yet, but this is definitely a problem with newer sets when they just include this black headpiece when really they should include Din Djarin's actual face because his head was revealed by then, but I don't think it's a problem in this set. Overall, a really cool minifigure. Next up, we have Cara Dune, which is definitely not my favorite minifigure in the set. I think the headpiece doesn't look very accurate. I don't know, just something about it doesn't really look like Cara Dune. She does include a nice blaster with a silver lightsaber hilt on the end. Really don't know why all these minifigures have lightsaber hilts on the end of their weapons, but I think it looks super cool. Her printing is really nice, especially that leg printing I think looks really nice, as well as the armor on the front. My main problem with this minifigure though, I didn't really like the headpiece, but my main problem is the arms. In the show, she has like this really cool kind of pattern printed on her arm. It's like dashed lines. I think that's to represent that she was a shock trooper. And that looked really cool, and I feel like LEGO could have printed this on this minifigure, like on the arms. I feel like they've done dual molded at this time, which is 2019 when this set released. I feel like they've definitely done dual molded or arm printing, and I feel like that would have been a much needed addition to this minifigure. Like even now when they make this minifigure, they don't include that, and I kind of feel like it's not as good as it could be, so I really wish this had arm printing. Now that looks like Cara Dune. Finally, we have the Clatoonian Raiders, which are the people that commandeer the walker and kind of rebuild it from scratch after the Empire. And I think they look really cool. They are actually both different, except for their headpiece and leg pieces, I believe. Their torso and their helmet and armor pieces are all unique. They also have unique weapons, like the one on the left has two blaster pistols, and the one on the right has another lightsaber hilt on the end of his weapon. But it is a silver weapon, which is really cool. 
Their back printing is also really nice as well. They are both different. You can see the one on the left has some straps. And I really do like the inclusion of the different head pieces or helmet pieces, I guess. I don't really know what the one on the right is. It looks like that Ultron piece from the bottom of Ultron's head. I bet that's what it is. But I think it looks really good on these minifigures here. It makes them look really nicely run down and like they just found spare armor. So really love what Lego did with these minifigures. Taking a brief look at stickers and prints, there are a lot of stickers on the set. This is a sticker up here. There's a sticker on a control panel piece in there, which I think is really unacceptable. I feel like Lego should have printed that because they do this all the time with control panel pieces. They print them. And there are also some stickers outside of the locker. Actually, a lot of them. This is a sticker right here. This is a sticker. There's another one over there. There's a lot of stickers on the base of this as well. And there is actually some really nice detailing here with some like I don't really know what these pieces are. I think they're paint roller pieces and it looks really nice to add some wiring. And there are some stickers up front here for these like stripes. And there's lots of stickers on the legs. As you can see, there's stickers all over here. These are really painful to apply, these like side slanted stickers. I went on a rant about this in my last video. And it is both, it is the same on both feet, which is really annoying. So yeah, overall, there are a lot of stickers in the set. When I first saw the sticker sheet, I was really scared, especially with some of these like longer stickers. Like this is a whole sticker. This is one piece and that's a sticker. Like you have to line it up perfectly. It's super annoying. Lots of stickers in the set. So if you are buying this new and you hate stickers, might not be the best set for you. Addressing value and price per piece. So this set actually has a pretty good price per piece at 540 pieces for $50. That's like nine cents per piece. There are a lot of small pieces in this set, I would say, and it doesn't really feel like a $50 set in my opinion. So you actually, if you were looking for this set at the time when it was on shelves, you probably would have seen it for $40 a lot because a lot of stores had this set priced at $40, I'm guessing, because not a lot of people were buying it for $50. And I kind of agree with the $40 price point better than $50. Like when I was researching this set, I actually just put $40 down for the price because I thought that was fair and I remember seeing that everywhere, but it turns out this actually was $50, which I think is a little ridiculous. Like four minifigures, that's pretty good. It's just $50. That seems like a little bit much, especially with how many stickers they put in this set. Like that's crazy. So I would say $40 is a much better value than $50 for this set. So overall, I would say this set is a seven out of 10, to be honest. Like it is pretty cool. It's just the stickers really hurt it, in my opinion. I remember when I first got this set and I was trying to put them, put all the stickers on it. It was just a nightmare and I really didn't like it. I also don't think $50 is that fair for just like a recolored ATST because I think this is basically the same exact model as the ATSTs we've had in the past. It is pretty cool though. I do like some of the design aspects like that really cool tubing in the back of it. I just, I don't really like the value and the stickers and some of the minifigures aren't the best like Cara Dune. So I give it a 7 out of 10. So there you have it guys, that was my review of set number 75254, the ATST Raider. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.